Hey everyone, I'm Big L with Country Music News International. We're here at CRS this week, and as I've mentioned on the previous interviews, we're talking to an awful lot of artists and uh, movers and shakers out there in the world of music. And with me sitting here is Jagger Whitaker. Jagger has somewhat of a unique story we're going to try to dig into here real quick, and he's also got some new music out that uh, we'll be talking about. Jagger, I appreciate you being on Country Music News yeah, International. Thank you, Al. I appreciate you having me. Yeah. So, I guess, uh, let's tell your story first before we get into this new single and kind okay. of give everybody an idea. Uh, your dad had a lot to do with your career. Um, he played drums. He got you playing drums. So, kind of from there, kind of take us through a little bit of, of who you are. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, um, I grew up, he played drums. Kind of had a little set beside him, you know, I played along with him. And um, he worked out of town every once in a while. And when he'd go out of town, he'd grab a guitar. It, may, it might not be the nicest guitar or whatever, but uh, he'd bring it back home. Mom would get so mad because I didn't have the patience to sit down, you know, learn how to play it. Uh -huh. I didn't want to. You know, right. they'd, they'd get me lessons and such. And uh -huh. um, I didn't I didn't have the patience to sit down and do it. So, uh, right, right. But anyways, um, he passed when I was 10. And that was kind of like my motivational. Oh, my reasoning behind actually sitting down and taking the ADHD away and you know doing it you know sure so yeah. um, I looked up a bunch of videos and I was like Simple Man is his favorite song his birthday's in July he passed in March so I got time to like okay I want to learn this song for him so I sat down learned the song fast forward to then I kind of start writing it was kind of my way of getting my feelings out there in a way. You know, I was I was 10 when he passed. So yeah. when I say writing, I mean, it wasn't nothing professional, but it was sure. just what I was feeling. Sure, know? yeah, so, uh, great. did that, and uh, from there, I kind of got into church and uh, lead worship in church. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of where it went up until I got, or graduated high school, and then I moved off to South Alabama. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a big jump, but I went to start playing the bars. Yeah, <laughs> and, oh, no, uh, no. Yeah, you know, that's usually how it goes. That and, is, um, yeah. I got the opportunity to open up for two, two or three. I guess Noah Hicks is pretty big now as well, but mm -hmm. um, John Langston and Tyler Farr were the two guys I got to open up for in Mobile. And um, just got, I got to talking to some people from Nashville and kind of what the route was to take, you know, mm -hmm. to get here and kind of make a career or try to make a career out of music. And, right, uh, right. That's kind of what I did. I just up and moved and, you know, been doing it ever since. You know? I bet there's one thing they didn't tell you, uh, Jagger, is that, uh, the money it takes to be able to live in a big town like Nashville. There's a lot they didn't tell me. I'll tell you that. <laughs> There's a lot, but, but that I'm, is one of them. I'm sure it's made your writing and your singing and learning more about the business. I'm sure it's, it's made a better quality type of fella. 100%. Absolutely. And the, the quality of storytelling behind the song is so much different than it was before I moved here. Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, you know, you, you learn, you go from telling a story and it ends up being the same story because you're writing on your own. You don't really have that experience with people here that's been doing it for a long mm -hmm. time and uh, once you get around those people that has that experience you kind of just pick up pick pieces and mm -hmm. um, you know you kind of figure out how to tell a different story yeah so yeah well let's tell the story of a, a new song that uh, is it out to radio beer talks is what it's called is beer it talks. out to radio it is it's out everywhere it's yeah. out on all streaming platforms you can check it out um Beer talk. It's a fun song. I'll say that much. Yeah, it, it sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. It might be able to even get you in trouble a little bit. It, well, it tends to do that. Beer does, at least. <laughs> it does. Beer does. I know that for a fact. But anyway, <laughs> beer talks. So uh, you wrote it. Yes, sir. I wrote it with uh, Nolan Gray and Ethan Payne. Ethan Payne was also, I think he was an American Idol contestant mm -hmm. a few seasons ago. But uh, yeah, great guys. We um, sat down and started telling funny drunk stories and such. And was like, let's write a song about beer. You know, that's kind of how the idea came apart. Really? Yeah. So, uh, you got any good beer talk stories you want to tell us here Ooh, on the program? man, not Today? on the camera. I'm going to tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure that you're uh, on all social media, am I correct? Yes, sir. And website? Uh, I do have a website. Yep. Jag it's Jagger Whitaker Music. Jagger mm -hmm. Whitaker Music. Yes, sir. And uh, let me ask this before I forget, and I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but that I'm sure the single Beer Talks is probably already out for downloads and buy, right? It is. Yes, sir. Okay. And I'm even going to say you've got a YouTube channel. I, I do. Yes, you sir. Do. Same thing, Jagger Whitaker Music. Make it simple. All right. Make it simple, everybody. It's Jagger Whitaker Music. Uh, is there anything you'd like to tell our audience at this point? 
uh, about you, uh, describe yourself, your music, or anything else? Well, the song that we're talking about in particular is uh, it's definitely a more fun, like, 90s style vibe. Brooks and Dons, I guess you can kind of throw in there. Um, mm -hmm. But the route we're going to take after this song, we haven't really decided on a release date for the next song or whatever. Mm -hmm. We're going to kind of let it see what it does, you know, on the social media part of things. But um, I'm really excited to go down this route. It's a, it's a whole different... Um, side of me and side of my writing style and uh, I'm really excited to see what it does. Well you know a lot of people when they do like worship music like you've mm -hmm. done they have a certain ability to be able to uh, get people inside you know what I'm saying you know whether it's a song like Beer Talks because it's a fun song everybody mm -hmm. likes to have a little mm -hmm. laugh or Absolutely. you know whatever song that you may be singing I I'm sure or writing mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll eventually be able to get inside everybody's heart and, and enjoy your music as well so Certainly appreciate you being on Country Music News International. I appreciate y'all having me. Seriously. Yeah, thank you so much. Once again, Jagger Whitaker, and you can just go check him out all over social media. Don't forget about the new song. It's out, Beer Talks. Go check it out because I think you might hear a very interesting story in that song. And for Country Music News International, you can check us out. Bluegrass, gospel, country, and many, many other great things on that magazine. It's countrymusicnews.com. And for Country Music News, I am Big Al.